tips for the city of Mannheim. Mannheim is located in Baden-Württemberg directly on the Rhine and forms a unit with Ludwigshafen in neighboring Rhineland-Palatinate. Of course, there are numerous sites and things to do in Mannheim that make a visit to the city a must. The city is built directly on the Rhine. The city center consists of numerous squares and street names, such as J9 or P5. Mannheim Castle. It is the landmark of the city and stands not far from the Rhine. The Baroque Castle of Mannheim has a lot to offer. Numerous exhibits are displayed here in five wings. The castle was built as early as 1720. The heart of the building is the Knights Hall, which is one of the most significant of its time. The Castle of Mannheim is not only the landmark of the city, but also a building rich in history, as well as a part of the university. Here you can find numerous beautiful paintings, can take guided tours and once a year on the day of the open monument, you can enter the castle without having to pay admission. So if you are on vacation in Mannheim, you should definitely have been in there once. The TV Tower. The TV Tower in Louisen Park not only has a beautiful viewing platform, but also a revolving restaurant high above the city, from which you can look out over the entire Rhine Valley. There is very high quality cuisine here. However, you should reserve the place up there, because most of the time it is fully booked. The restaurant is located at an incredible height of 125 meters and rotates around its own axis once an hour, giving you a 360-degree view of Mannheim and the surrounding area. For those who just want to feast on the view, the viewing platform one floor above the restaurant is just the thing. Here you can see on boards in which direction which sites are located and of course shoot beautiful panoramic pictures. Louisen Park. It is often called the Green Lung of Mannheim, the Louisen Park with its small lake called Kutzeweiher, the TV tower and lots of rare flower species. Louisen Park is considered one of the most beautiful parks in Europe and is located on the left bank of the Necker River. Right in the heart of the park you can find the lake stage, which was built back in 1974. Weather dance, tea events or sports, life is booming here summer and winter. The Chinese garden is also worth a visit. The park itself has numerous themed gardens, such as the Heath Garden, the Citrus Garden, and the Fern or Iris Garden. Especially in summer, these gardens are in full bloom and probably the most popular park in the city comes to life. Animals such as pigs, chickens, goats, sheep and horses live in the small farm. During a walk along the Heinrich Wetter Weg you can admire numerous sculptures that have found their way here and are exhibited. Summer, as well as winter, the Louisen Park with its Chinese tea house is worth a visit. Das Boots House, top restaurant in Mannheim. The Boots House, Boat House, in Mannheim is one of the most popular restaurants in an upscale atmosphere. Here, in addition to the normal dinner, you can also find regular crime dinners, where you can watch a wonderful thriller with an exciting plot in addition to the various courses. Monday is a day of rest here, but the rest of the week is open from 5 p.m. On Sunday already from 10 a.m. with a wonderful brunch. The Bootshauser is located near the Louisen Park, directly at the entrance and close to the telecommunications tower. A special ambience awaits you here at the table. In addition to the normal dinner, you can also rent the boathouse for a wedding reception, birthday or other celebrations. The Water Tower. Next to the castle, the Water Tower is an equally charming landmark of the city of Mannheim. There are events here all year round, for example the Bloom Peter Fest or the Street Carnival. The Water Tower has been enthroned in its place since 1886 and, with its beautiful fountains, becomes a popular meeting place for young and old in the summer. In 1909, however, the water tower was already taken out of service and served for almost 100 years only as a reserve pressure tank. From 2000, the old gentleman, then retired completely and has now become just a place of peace and quiet for the people of Mannheim. The tower stands on the Friedrichsplatz, which with its park, the old Art Nouveau houses, the Rose Garden and the Art Gallery has become a place of communication and meeting. To put it briefly, a Mannheim resident can no longer do without his water tower. Herzogenried Park. Although not quite as famous as Louisen Park, Herzogenried Park is always worth a visit. Parts of the state horticultural show were housed here in 1975, and since then beautiful plants have always adorned the city's little lungs. Another part of the show was in Louisen Park, and between the two sites ping-ponged an aerial tramway called the Aerobus. 
The park is located in Neckerstadt East, south of the famous Herzogenried housing estate. In 1396 the park was already mentioned for the first time and is now almost 800 years old. Of course, during the time it has been changed again and again until it took on the image it has today. The main attractions in the park are an animal enclosure, the Rosarium, and a water playground for the little ones. Technosium. The city and the state of Baden-Württemberg established a wide-ranging collection here. Numerous exhibits were displayed on more than 9,000 square meters. 900 square meters are reserved for special exhibitions. The main exhibition, which is permanently housed in the building, goes back to industrialization in southwestern Germany. Here, you feel like you're on a journey through time as you walk through the building from top to bottom. The room in which the historical items of the Mannheim Observatory were housed is also particularly popular. In 1997 and 1998, among other things, the Korpenwelten, Body Worlds, exhibition was shown here for the first time in Europe. The Jesuit Church. The Jesuit Church of St. Ignatius and St. Francis Xavier is another must-see place in Mannheim. It stands not far from the squares in the city center and was built from 1738 to 1760. Today it is a Catholic church and one of the most important Baroque buildings in southwestern Germany. It is located directly opposite the castle and its art treasures are an important example of the city's history. For example, the farmer or the cardinal virtue, valor, are only two important figures on the front of the church. Several stone monuments decorate the interior and every Sunday the church invites to a service. However, if you want to see it from the inside, you are welcome to visit during the week. The church is open. Nature Reserve Riesensel. The Riesensel in Mannheim is not a real island, but only a nature reserve of superlatives. Animals have been reintroduced here and the city dweller can spend his Sunday in the green. On a good 100 hectares of land in the bend of the Rhine at kilometer 422 there is a popular bird sanctuary. It is one of the most important bird resting places in the Rhine Valley. The rest is forest and is under nature protection. Rare tree species such as poplars, willows, ash trees and hornbeams have found a new habitat here. The island has a small path for walking. There are also small paths in the Ban Forest that lead cross-country and bring people closer to nature. Throughout the year, the Riesensel is a popular destination and should not be missed during any stay in Mannheim. Kapuziner Hauschen is a museum in the squares. One of the most popular museums in the city is the Kapuziner Hauschen. It is located directly in the famous squares and can be visited daily during opening hours. In the exhibitions you can find handicrafts, paintings and many other antique things. The water tower is also not very far away. So you are also on the shopping street of Mannheim, where the stores are lined up and you can buy and discover just about anything. The Kapuziner Hauschen is a meeting place at the Kapuziner Planken, but it can also be rented if you have a family party. Because in the small hall it is quite rustic. Conclusions The city has a lot to offer for the locals and the guests who spend their vacations here. From culture to nature and culinary highlights, there is just about everything here. You can walk along the Rhine Meadows just as well as in one of the most popular parks in Europe, the Louisen Park with its high television tower. A view of the extra class from up there and still a coffee to drink makes everyone probably particularly much fun. Because in airy heights the drinks taste a lot better than on earth. Mannheim is a beautiful city with many nice places and churches. Whether in the surrounding countryside or in the city center, you can always feel at home. The landmark of the city is the castle with all its rooms, the Knights Hall and the numerous exhibitions. The city has something to offer for everyone and whether young or old, you can enjoy a balanced vacation here.